turn to you. Welcome to Griner. Thank you, Jesus. And I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Are you glad this Amen. morning? Yes. Are you glad this morning? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I am especially glad to be back into Griner's house of the Lord. 
It was um, good to be in Nicaragua this past week, but it is uh, very good to be back home. So um, we'll share more about the trip later, but I just want you all to know that Griner was represented there. And so the things that happened in Nicaragua with our group this past week, you all were a part of that as well by blessing us and sending us off. Um, so um, yeah, we just appreciate that. And it was such a good week. It was a good week, but we'll, again, we'll talk more about that later. Let's get to the announcements, shall we? Uh, the Nicaragua trip we'll talk about, the ladies' Bible study we're meeting for, do we have three weeks left? Three weeks left. It's been a good study, studying Esther. Um, if you'd like to join us, you're welcome to on Thursdays at 2. Uh, Easter weekend, we have uh, services Friday and Saturday at 7. Sunday morning, we will start at 8 a.m., so make sure of that time change, and we will feed you uh, breakfast in between services there. So uh, please plan to join us for a resurrection service. We'll have Pastor Matt Yoder uh, with us to be our speaker. And to the ladies, we're going to uh, have a uh, worship and prayer retreat, April 26th and 27th. So make note of that um, and just start preparing your heart for that. Men's meetings on Saturday mornings uh, at 7 a.m. in the fellowship hall. Uh, Who's Got Your Six is the title of that series that they're going through, and from what I hear, it's a tremendous uh, series, and so if you're interested, uh, you can see Dan or Robert, maybe, right, either one of these guys, they can get you more information. Uh, the Daily Bread, there's copies on the round table back there, please help yourself uh, if you would like any of these, and then remember to change your time, your clocks, next Saturday night, so you're here on time on Sunday morning. Um, I just want to take just a quick minute to, um, I hope I don't forget anybody, but I know Ben and Amy have had a very challenging week this past week, um, and Dennis is homesick this morning. Um, is there anybody else that I'm missing? John Iker. John Iker is very ill. Lily is very ill. Um, so there are things going around, and I just want to take a minute if we can. We'll pray for the offering as well, but let's pray for um, those that are not with us today, um, and I just want to pray for protection over the building, over uh, the rest of us that are healthy, <laughs> and um, just that we can continue on. We were, we're going to persevere. We're going to um, keep serving the Lord, and um, yeah, we'll just go on with that. So if you want to prepare for offering, we'll go ahead with that. If there, are there any other announcements that need to be made? <clears throat> let's pray god we thank you so much that we have this place that we could come to together to worship you with uh brothers and sisters alike it's saints of god god we thank you that you provide a place for us and even in our personal intimate time you provided a way for us to have direct access to you and god i thank you for that I thank you for Griner Church. I thank you for this building. And Father, I thank you for um, blessing us through jobs, through the workplace, and um, for the income, God, that we could sow back into your kingdom through our tithe monies today. Pray that you would bless each person uh, in a tremendous way today and this coming week. Bless them in their personal lives, in their spiritual lives, um, financially, in their homes. God, meet whatever need that they may have. And God, I know that you are a God of abundance, and so I pray that you would just pour it out upon them, uh, upon each one of us today, God, in this coming week. And Father, I just pray against this sickness and this illness that is going around. Father, I pray protection, the blood of Jesus over each one of our lives, over this building as well. And God, the germs and the things that are in the world would not even be able to penetrate into us because we are covered by the blood of Jesus and that protection. And so, Father, I also pray for those that are affected um, through this illness and things. I pray that a complete healing upon their body, soul, and spirit today, right now, would you just touch them in a special way? Would you be with them? God, just um, restore their bodies to complete health and wholeness so that they may rise up and a new song to worship you. So we bless you. We thank you for today. We commit the remainder of the service into your hands, and we just ask your Holy Spirit to come and just do what you need to do in each one of us. In Jesus' name, amen.
think of the word of the word of God um, given to us through Jesus who said he is truth he is his word the things he spoke is truth and that's what we rest on we speak that that his word is a lamp to our feet a light to our path um, and we could we could spend our worship time maybe just going through is it is it Psalm 139? Or which psalm is it? 119 that just goes over how God's word speaks that we, we, we rely on his word. I mean, the whole thing is just about his, his truth. And uh, that's what we're going to just uh, base our lives on. We're going to ask that the word of God, his promises, his truth um, would be over our lives. That his blood speaks a better word than the in our flesh and so uh, we're going to declare that this morning over all the sickness and disease and all the things that are going on and afflicting our bodies and uh...
precious blood of Christ speaks a better word. It speaks a better word. It's calling out my name. It's breaking every chain. It's making all things right. The precious blood of Christ speaks a better word. It speaks a better word. It's calling out my name. It's breaking every chain. Oh, it's making all things right. The precious blood of Christ speaks a better word. It speaks a better word. Yes, Father, we just rest on your word this morning. We're just thankful for that. Every word that you've spoken will remain, God. We, we thank you that we can trust your promises, that you are a rock that we can stand on and build our lives on. We thank you for the blood this morning that was shed on, on the cross and before even, God, that trail of blood that was laid throughout the city leading to Calvary. And God, the just... Uh, the cleansing that it brought, the pure spotless blood that washes over each one of our sins. God, bringing us into a relationship with you, God, but we thank you that the blood and the death and the resurrection was final, the conquering of sin and shame and guilt, and God, that we are free now to live for you, God, and we're gonna rest on that promise this morning, declaring healing, God, in our bodies, in our minds, our souls, God, every part. Father of kindness, you have poured out grace. You brought me out of darkness, you have filled me with peace. And giver of mercy, you're my help in time of need. Lord, I can't help but sing. Says, oh, yes, 
and amen. Oh, all your promises are yes and amen. I will rest in your promises. Confidence is your faithfulness. I will rest in your promises. My confidence is your faithfulness. I will rest in your promises. My confidence. Is your faithfulness? Yes, I will rest in your promises. My confidence is your faithfulness. You think about resting in God and think about Jesus, that even in the midst of the storm, He sat or slept his confidence was in the Lord in his father in heaven he trusted completely so even if there's waves in your life if there's crashing all around you we can rest on the promises of God and I will rest in your promises, my confidence is your faithfulness, and I will rest in your promises, my confidence is you are faithful, faithful. Holy Spirit, 
a moment to be still before the Lord this morning. Just let him speak to you this morning. Hear what he has to say. Let him give you a word. It says that even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. 
They shall mount up with wings like eagles. And they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So just wait before him. And let him renew your strength this morning. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Cause your name is power I just want to speak the name. 
depression, I speak Jesus. Cause your name is declare him over our own lives, the blood of Jesus to flow through over and over us. We declare Jesus for our church. We declare Jesus for our families. We declare Jesus for our cities. Yes. We declare it for our state and for this nation. We declare Jesus' name for the world. He came to die for the world. He came to die for the lost, for the afflicted. He came to heal and, pre and to uh, repair. And we just declare that his kingdom come and his will be done. So I just want to speak the name of Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Oh, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Jesus, yes, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Because your name is power. Your name is healing, your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. 